Justin, thank you. Meanwhile, down in the Kapoho area, people still can't believe that Kapoho Bay is no more. Now completely filled in with hardened lava. And hundreds of homes in the Kapoho area have been destroyed, including Mayor Harry Kim's house in vacation land. This morning, Howard spoke with him about the kindness he's been shown from people in the community. As I was standing there waiting and talking to people, you cannot believe the amount of people that came up to me and said how sorry they were that they heard I lost my place. <laughs> These are people who lost a thousand times more than me. He also talked about moving forward in the middle of these difficult times. Nature creates. You know, and naturally, it hurts at the time of what you want to last forever for yourself. And that's to me natural. But if you take a look at this world and this earth and this island, uh, all the greatest thing of beauty was created by some change. And this is one of those changes. And we will be a better place. But uh, unfortunately, sometimes it takes time. And unfortunately, many have to suffer the change. The mayor said he was planning to give that house that was lost to his grandchildren. Because so many homes were destroyed by lava, Hawaii County Managing Director Will Okabe told us they won't be collecting property taxes on those homes. And the county could lose up to $2 million because of that. So they're asking the council to consider a half percent increase to the general excise tax, or GET, to cover the county's overtime costs as well as lost revenue. Today I'm going to be going to the council meeting. We're going to try to, again, try to push for a 0.5% excise tax. But I think that uh, in this situation, we need to look at the whole island, of what's happening, um, and it comes down to revenues. And we were told just about half an hour ago that the council members are still discussing the proposed GET increase behind closed doors in executive session. We will follow up and we will let you know what they decide to do. Many people in Lower Puna do not have power with lava destroying hundreds of power poles. If you have any questions for HELCO, its customer care team will be at the Pahoa County Council office from 9.30 a.m. to 2 p.m. every Thursday this month. They'll answer questions on things like electrical safety, restoration, and customer accounts and billing. And make sure you stay with KHON2 on air and online as we continue to track this volcanic emergency.